Okay, we're live. Yes, so um, there is there is a DVD, and when Hawkins would classically use for the muscle testing artificial sweetener and fluorescent lights, and uh, and he would have a class and get the people to look at the fluorescent light, and, and he would check their muscle strength, and they'd go weak, and then he'd put some artificial sweetener on the on their chest, and they would go weak, and they were doing the course of miracles, and one day people weren't going weak. He said, look at the fluorescent light, and they wouldn't go weak. And he put the artificial sweet, and they wouldn't go weak. And then it was like, why was that? Why was the muscle test not when They were doing the Course in Miracles. I think they were at about less than 76 of the Course in Miracles. And uh, so, yes, as you, as, as you become an enlightened teacher, it's like um, nothing makes you go weak. You know? And as you do the Course in Miracles, you're not looking to the world. You're, you're, I mean... So uh, the, the Course of Miracles can give you immunity uh, to, to everything in the world. So that would be like transcending. So it's like uh, with Hawkins, um, he cancelled his, he had poison ivy. I think it was poison ivy, yeah. He would get a rash when he had poison ivy, touch poison ivy. And he cancelled his belief. Cancel my belief, poison ivy gives a rash. And then he could just hold poison ivy, just use a belief system. So you can delete that. So that's true. Um, that you become immune, and that's transcendence. But I still would hold to um, the thing of um, when you're in the enlightened state. Of course, you you will be called to you know to be in the places and situations which is at that at that level of consciousness. So if you're not in that state of consciousness, you still have to have spiritual discernment to know whether you're making choices out of ego or not uh, with things, but that's true. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why I was so wanting to do The Course in Miracles, because I wanted all my illnesses to be gone. Mm. No, the, the, the thing that I'm, I'm, yeah. uh, I was interested in is, it's not about, a lot about the decision as per not being influenced by other environments, energy, and people's energy. By doing a, a Course in Miracles, or other, like not going with when you're kind of dealing with that type of people or situations. Um, say that again? Well, what, what I was saying is not much about the decision in itself, Yes. but once you're in, in those environments yes. that are below integrity, yes. given the fact that you've done that decision in the past or not, and it's been your own kind of ego, mm -hmm. artistical decision or not, yeah. but once you're into a situation, if you're doing a Course in Miracles and other spiritual work, can you be protected and not be weakened? By yeah, you, you can be protected. I, I, I mean, doing the Course in Miracles is protection from the world. If, if, you're, if, you, if you're doing, um, you know, I mean, every time you look at an advert, every time somebody says something to you, like, we're going to have a recession, everyone's going to lose their job in the next six months. Um, uh, you know, the statistics for people who have this illness are this bad. So you're being programmed non-stop just to be, you walk on the streets, you, 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 without realizing it, you're having so many programs. With every person you speak at the level of consciousness now, you're being programmed left, right and center. So the course, of course the Course of Miracles does provide protection against an immunity to the thing. If you're doing the course every 10 minutes, I pray for a miracle to see this differently, you're inviting the Holy Spirit in to give you uh, protection. Um, this, this table, this, uh, this company does not mean anything. You're getting protection. This whole world is an illusion. is giving you protection from going into separation and picking up all the programs. That, and if you're and, and certain states, when you're in flow with the Course, you're in, a, you're in a state of grace throughout the day, which is a state of protection. However, there was one interesting story from Dr. Hawkins, and he was very advanced. So he transcended hypoglycemia, which meant that when he had sugar, he would get the shakes. And he just cancelled his belief in it. And, and he could then not eat chocolates, cakes, hot fudge sundaes, and there was no effect, because he just cancelled it. So that's one way of doing a sugar, sugar addiction. But he started to give lectures on, on hypoglycemia and how it works scientifically, and he started getting the shakes again. So you can, mm. even if you do the work, you can re be reprogrammed. So, there, you know, not to take the work lightly. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, you can transcend the world and stay in an infinite state of grace and, and be protected. But I wouldn't test it 
by going into places <laughs> where, uh, okay, I'm bulletproof now, I can eat chocolates, I can eat rat poison, it doesn't affect me. I'm now going to live in a rat poison factory and eat poison every day. You know, it's like, mm. uh, you know, so. It's like way. Yeah, there's going to be an intuitive thing. So just because you get the grace, wouldn't, I mean, who would want to show off? You know, who would have that decision that would want to show off? Like, look, let me do this party trick. I'm eating rat poison, I'm not affected by it. So I can get the, my ego sort of, I can get the ego. <laughs> The ego validation. So, you know, as soon as you're not in alignment with spirit, you lose your privileges. I think this is one of the great things, you know. So, um, it's, an, it's an interesting thing. As you get into the states of grace and miracles and everything starts to go well, um, you, um, there is no way for the ego to take that on for itself. Um, if the ego tries to take ownership of the miraculous, or the ego tries to use the spiritual for its own ends, to get its own validation, or to manipulate, or to, you know, the thing is, if, if you ever start having the miraculous happen around you, and you want your ego to start taking ownership for that, and you want to start taking advantage of that, you can lose the, you lose the grace instantly. It's like being cast out of heaven. If you're having miracle after miracle happen, and all kinds of wonderful things happen non-stop, to make an ego decision can mean you suddenly cut, you know, it's like you're cast out of heaven. Mm. It's like all the miracles will suddenly stop and everything. So it's not, so in a way, if you want to be in the infinite now and you want the miraculous non-stop, you have to stay true to that. If you, as soon as you start to let your ego motives get in the way, uh, you lose it. So I'm not really that, you know, I don't really want to like uh, um, play with, with grace. You know, you know, I don't really, I mean, you know, like, I mean, the ego can be tempted, but, you know, I'll lose the miraculous. I'll lose this infinite state of presence. I will lose miracles happening left, right and centre. As soon as my ego wants to take it, I will, that will be cut off, and I'll have to make it on my own ego. And eventually, because I'll be in a low vibration, everything that I thought I was getting from what I had in the miraculous will be stripped away from me. So I don't really recommend people using the miraculous as, a, as for ego gain. I mean, that's that's 101 spirituality. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like taking, you know, taking ownership. I wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't call once, you know, like to say, to say when miracles happen around someone who's in the infinite state, that's not that person. The person doesn't create miracles. It's the infinite grace. That is the that is the source of all miracles. No person, no person actually performs miracles because it's not a person that can perform miracles. Like, like a, a body and some thinking is not the source of miracles. The infinite grace is the source of the miraculous. So if you start to take ownership, like, uh, who wants a miracle? I can do it for you. You know, and get up, get in the queue. I mean, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like you know, so you know that that can lead to the loss of grace. So, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, it was talking, so, uh, yeah, I forgot the question. Okay.